Hello all, welcome to Mobile Testing YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss how to access locators using, how to find locators using APM GUI tool uh, of an iOS application. So let's start the APM server. Once it is started, click on the Start Inspector Session button. Switch to Saved Capability Sets and then click on the first iPhone 7 Desired Capabilities option and then click on Start Session. You should watch my previous videos on how to set up a iPhone simulator with all the required desired capabilities. This is a series of tutorials for APM. Yeah, so the simulator booted up successfully and uh, the UI catalog application which is the demo application provided by APM community we are going to use that. For our videos here you can see an exact screenshot of the simulator let me show you an, another screen clicking on actions sheets and then I should click on the reload button so you see the updated options So let's try to find the locator ID of action sheets button. Here once you I mean once you highlight it and do a gentle click on it, you can see the APM locator taking us to the right element in the app source. So we are trying to find the locator ID for action sheets. So there are two ways to identify this locator. One is with accessibility ID, so which is given as action sheets. And then the next one is XPath. Uh, it is always recommended to use accessibility IDs whenever possible. Uh, limit the usage of xpath in your uh, scripts because uh, they consider I mean it is like xpath is not so reliable and it might break at times so similarly if you want to find the locator of the new page let's take a screenshot of it scroll over and uh, click on the button so here you can see the accessibility ID is OK cancel and uh, the XPath for this is highlighted over here. You also, I mean we also have an option to get the XY axis. Which we can do with So as you hover over the application you can see the XY values changing updating over the top left corner So to find the XY value of the alert views you can see the X value is 180 and the Y value is 253. This is one good uh, usage of the uh, element identifier tool so it can also perform click operations so it is not needed like you should go here to the simulator tap back then come back to the APM desktop tool and click on the refresh button this is one way the other way is you can directly click on the options so 
so it uh, this tool is so interactive and is very helpful yeah that's about it we'll get to know more about this tool as we start writing scripts thanks for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel